What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is about what I admire most about MTV. The reason why I am making this video for all of the other fans that feel the same way that I do worldwide. Let's get started. I came into a knowledge of MTV, um, I would say in 19... 80, I'm going to go with 83, because, well, unfortunately, I was living in Detroit, Michigan, on Coventry, off of West 7 Mile and John R. Road, Side Street, Emory. The lights were off, and um, let me see, we had those candles. I do not like candles. I, I, for real, I can't stand candles. They come in pretty colors and they, the center ones smell nice, but I don't like candles and this is why. It was candles to be had lights were turned off and then lamps with the batteries in there. Oh gosh. Okay, so I'm like, okay. Couldn't wait until Friday to get here because we were going to go out to my father's house. May rest in peace. And we would go visit some of their friends, and they had HBO cable. So that's when I got a chance to see MTV. And at that time, Michael Jackson, may he rest in peace. Prince, may he rest in peace. Um, they were in heavy rotation. So I got a chance to get introduced into a lot of other groups. A lot of British acts like Duran Duran, uh, Adam Ant, um, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, um, who else? Oh, the, the, the Cars, Tom Petty, um, ooh, Pat Benatar, Madonna, Sheena Easton, um, Chicago. Oh, here you listen the news. I can go on and on and on. But it all started with me seeing it on HBO. Michael Jackson was what, I think his first video was um, Billie Jean. And he had on the leather suit. And he was dancing with all the different lights on the floor. I was so geek for one. I've always, you know, been a fan of Michael Jackson. And I was somewhere where the lights was on. It was a Friday night, so I didn't have to worry about going back to a house without electricity. The gas price was off too, so I remember the kerosene heater until Sunday night. I used to always get depressed. So I was like, well, it's Friday night. Let's live in the moment. HBO, pizza. We went to Chuck E. Cheese. And uh, mostly it was Michael Jackson and Prince that was dominating MTV, among other you know groups that I liked as well. But I rem mainly remember seeing them because Prince had just went mainstream with Little Red Corvette. That was his first mainstream hit. And uh, that was the double uh, LP um, 1999. And then it was Michael Jackson with uh, Thriller. And then Madonna was on the scene because she had, you know, came out with her stuff. So it was 83, 84, 85, and especially when Prince had uh did purple rain the success of that they played all his stuff a lot heavy rotation same with michael jackson thriller heavy rotation and any other uh well madonna because she played borderline um let's see it was borderline uh star bright um oh yeah journey was on there um who else uh Gosh, what was his name? He made Eyes Without a Face. Billy Idol. I think that's his name. Um, I can go on and on and on. You know, they was laying it out. And unfortunately, the lights was off most of the dang on time. So I couldn't wait to go out to Inkster so we can go over there and watch MTV because I was hooked. You know, at first I had wanted to go to California. And become a movie star. I've always had musical talent. But at that time I wasn't really paying attention to it. But what 
really got it where I became so reconnected to my musical talents, it was because of MTV. Because they were showing everybody from Judas Priest to Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, uh, Wasa, We're Not Gonna Take It Anymore, ACDC, Van Halen, um, Bruce Springsteen, he was another one, Dancing in the Dark and Born in the USA. All that came from MTV. I remember all of that. And I, I, I admire it because they've evolved into, well, I remember their first motion picture, at least I like to believe it was, maybe the first time I saw it, was Joe's apartment. He was she was sitting in his living room in the chandelier. It fell out and a whole bunch of roaches fell on her skirt. And then they had uh, this old lady was walking down the steps and they had put a wire on there. She flipped the fill all the way down the steps. And that was MTV's first motion picture. So I, I admire a lot about MTV. It's actually taught me a lot. Actually inspired me to do what I'm doing now. And I know you may hear a lot of that in different parts of my videos. But again, I was born in 1969. So a lot of different things inspired me to do this. I took bits and pieces. And now that uh, technology has made it um, accessible to present yourself in this matter, I enjoy doing it. But yeah, MTV, I admire it. And uh, viewers, I want to know what you admire most about MTV. Leave your comments in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos constantly. And you can win cash. If you like my video, click that you do. If you don't, click that you don't. Continue to leave your comments and your video requests, and I will respond to each of them at my earliest convenience as soon as possible. And don't forget to support the Brian Walker's channel by making a donation through the link in my description box. Don't you go anywhere.